Hello and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. We are one day away from the next big event, so let's talk to these people, figure out whether we've got a characteristics level up for Akihiko, and then just kind of move on time. Hello. Hello. Do you need some mere time to get used to the operations? Oh, enough already. Ha ha ha, did I bomb that one? Good luck on the next one as well. I'll be rooting for you from the shadows. <laughs> oh no. Right. TV? The news is on. I must have read it early or watched it earlier. Hello. Hey. I'm about to run out of my protein packed food stock. If you aren't busy, want to help me make more? Uh, so I'm not going to gain a skill here. So I see. think if we're lucky, this is going to be a day where we can go and see the guy who hangs out uh, over at Polonia. Let's see. Is this going to be our day? It isn't. He's not here. He's not here on Wednesdays. Okay, well, if he's not here on a Wednesday, then I don't know what we're going to do. I guess we're going to go raise our academics. That's kind of like the next thing that we do. So let's head in here. And you're the answer. Wonderful. Right. Fast forward through all of that. Got another couple points. Still not leveled up, but hey, there you go. Right. And now we're on to Thursday. Now we were warned we might not get the middle of the day here. So let's see what happens. There will be a full moon tonight. A powerful shadow will appear. I should stay home today and conserve my strength. Oop. And straight to the dark hour. Well, here we are. A full moon once again. Any luck, Yamagishi? Yes, I can sense it. There's a shadow reading tonight, as expected. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's located by the deserted houses in the northern part of Iwatodai. Trying to remember if I can remember this one. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think I know what this boss is. We'll, we'll see. But there's something strange. The reading is coming from underground. Almost 10 meters. I definitely know what this boss is. And I'm interested to see what they do with the area around it, because I seem to remember it being a little bit bare bones. Maybe it's in some kind of basement? According to the records for the Northern Harbor, there are no structures that match that criteria. However, there once was an underground facility used by the military. The military? Is that true? Well, the architectural and geographical data for the area was uploaded into her memory. Then again, the information hasn't been updated in 10 years. Correct. The data is 10 years old. Shouldn't someone fix that? So how exactly do we proceed? Um, go underground? We won't know more until we actually get there. Old relics of war. It seems the situation is still unclear at this time. With that in mind, we'll wait until we arrive before we decide who should be deployed. Agreed. Understood. Alright, let's go. Okay. Iwatodai Northern Harbor Underground Facility Entrance. So, I believe that in FES, this was basically just a corridor with a few random assets placed in it. That's all I really remember about it. Uh, and then you face a boss. So, I'm hoping that they've at least improved the way it looks a little bit. I didn't know there was a place like this so close by. Target should be around here somewhere. Oh, <laughs> well done. Ooh. Who are they? Lucia couldn't sense them at all until now! It's so nice to finally meet you in person. My name is Takaya. This is Jin. We are known to some as Strega. Now then, we've been keeping an eye on your activities for some time. From what we hear, 
You've undertaken a righteous battle to save the world. Unfortunately, we've come here tonight to put an end to that. What did you say? You've gained many new allies in such a short time. No doubt because this land crawls with sin. Ah, Tartarus is towering as beautifully as always. You know about Tartarus? You know... Wait, why the hell would you want to stop us? <laughs> it ain't rocket science. If shadows in the dark hour disappear, we could lose our power. And that's not something we can abide by. Get it? Power? Are you saying your Persona users too? I implore you to think more carefully. Do you really want to lose your abilities? Not just anyone can wield the power of a Persona. The Dark Hour is a frontier that is ours alone to explore. And the same goes for the Tower of Demise. That's your reason for stopping us? Then you're the ones who need to think. Who knows what might happen if we don't do something? A catastrophe brought on by the shadows. What difference does it make, really? Disasters will always exist. And humans will always destroy each other, regardless of what the shadows do. Either way, no one can predict what misfortunes will befall who. But more importantly, it's time you accepted the truth. Surely you will acknowledge the sense of fulfillment the Dark Hour has given you. Hmm. What? You think I like this? Is it not so? How about the rest of you? Do you also wish to return to your pathetic ordinary lives? Uh, I think I guess it's going to be much the same whether or not we get rid of the Dark Hour or not. She is a robot after all. And that's where most of her power comes from. Everyone else, you know, feel free to answer the question. I'm just saying for I guess. Huh? I don't enjoy this at all. Whatever. You all got your own selfish reasons for fighting. That so-called justice of yours? <laughs> Ain't nothing but an excuse. There's nothing righteous about any of you. You're all just hypocrites. Like hell you chumps are gonna stop us. What did you say? <laughs> Have fun in there. Damn it! They locked us in. There is no need to panic. Instead of wasting resources, I recommend we prioritize the shadow first. Great! If we freak out, then we're just giving them what they want. Shadow's moving. I think it's noticed us. All right, let's focus on our original goal. We can look for a way out after we've won. Go ahead and select your team. Everyone, prepare for battle. Okay. We can do that. Leader. There was a slight accident, but let's focus on the mission for now. I feel the target's presence from beyond that door. Once you're ready, we can go. Ooh. Music's interesting. Uh, let's quickly choose our team. Alright, team chosen. Uh, let's see what everyone has to say and then we'll get going. Hello. Hmm. We'll worry about how to escape later. Defeating the shadows takes priority. Do you want me to go? Excuse me. This facility appears to be abandoned. I do not sense any biological material outside our group. Okay. Hmm. Should be a worthy opponent. You ready? Hello? Huh? Yo, I'm getting kind of psyched. Okay. Hello? Hey! Come on, let's get going. I wonder whether they had less to say because I'd already selected them for the party. I don't know. Anyway. Um. Let's focus on the shadow right now. Please choose who will join you on the front lines. I'm, I got it. What's the status of the target? I'm picking up the target signal from a spot somewhere below here. It's kind of like multiple readings overlapping. I can't really tell for sure. What earth could it be? I don't know what we're up against this time either, so be ready for anything. Okay. Uh, let's drop in a save. And then, uh, let's go. This is 
I sense the target two blocks ahead of you. Almost identical to FES in terms of how it's set out. It's a corridor. It seems to be moving slowly downward. Don't let it get away. It is actually like a hundred percent is a corridor with a few random assets put in it. Alright. Ooh, and things to destroy. Like sewer cheese. That's cool. I wonder if we're still gonna have the random fights as we walk through here. This is at least it's just random assets. Never mind. I was gonna try and say it's at least a little bit better, but no, it's exactly the same. Looks like canned food. Okay, this side. Tables and boxes cluster the room. Uh the skel that skeleton used to be somebody. Uh-huh. There are cobwebs stretching over the bo uh, boxes. Okay. This place. It seems it was some kind of armory during the war. Ooh, there's a flashy thing. These tracks on the ground seem to be made recently. I wonder. These could belong to the target. Stay alert, everyone. Okay. Flashy thing. Two revival beads. For all these documents. In the hopes that this message will reach my loved ones, I have sealed this journal for its protection. We few survivors have ensured the completion of our goal. So many of our cohorts will never know our success. I pray their spirits find rest in the wake of this turmoil. To my mother, my wife, and my children. Please do not think I have abandoned you. If securing your futures means giving my life, then I will have done so happily. Honor my memory by living. Okay. There's a skeleton crushed under the machinery. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, and then things down here for us to slash. And a twilight fragment. Okay. Didn't think there'd be other Persona users aside from us. Lucia couldn't sense them at all. Sorry, I'll concentrate on the shadow. Okay. Keep going. More things to destroy. The target's gaining speed. It's continuing down the tunnel. Hurry and chase it down. Okay, got those things. Carrying on. The target stopped. Okay, so... Around. So given we're about to fight Please it, what I will say is the difference between FES and this version is I seem to remember that there were like fights as we came down here of just random enemies. They took them out of the previous area as well, and I think they took them out of this area. Um, and they've replaced them with things to destroy with your sword. It's just interesting. Like they've replaced them with these bits, basically. It's just an odd decision. But okay. It is also incredibly dark. I can see nothing down here. In case you're wondering, like, oh, is it just the video? Nope. <laughs> it's just dark. But yeah, they just removed all the extra fights. That is creepy, though. The target's up ahead. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. This is the source of the tread marks? It looks like the shadow is using the Tangus armor. Get ready, everyone. Here it comes. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see what we want to do here first. Uh, it's probably a good idea to put on a buff if we can. I'm just seeing what we have. I uh, probably don't want to be on something that's weak to gun. Uh, just seeing what my options are, really. Uh, I guess I'm going to be on something that's weak to gun. Let's increase our defense. Come. There we go. Next thing, this? we don't have anything that we can particular. Well, I guess we could lower its accuracy. Yeah. Let's do that, then. Solid first move. Okay. Uh, Tarunda, lower its uh, attack as well. What's and next? then here, let's test the weakness. Let's go for Torrent Shot. 
It resisted. Okay. High explosive shell. Ooh, couple of weeks, couple of criticals. She's dizzy, which is unfortunate. Uh, we want to switch it off of this one. So who who was actually weak? I think that must have been um, Akihiko. Okay. Um, let's go Floris for now. I think that one's fine. Only weak to Ice, so I think that's a good one to sit on. And then maybe we got something that yeah we've got stuff that um, cures uh, dizzy. So let's do that on Yukari. Let's bring her back up, and she can heal on her turn. Now's the time. In fact, she could probably just do a self heal. Here. That would be Look enough. Everyone else is pretty much tanked up. Okay. Sonata-senpai is looking intense. Uh, let's test electricity. We've, we've got an easy way to do that, and it ignores resistances. So let's see. Did barely anything, but that's okay. Separate. Oh wow. Okay. Cool. And the larger one is Chariot. So I believe the gimmick in this fight is that you have to kill them both as um, like as simultaneously as you can, essentially. Uh, you don't want to just kill one and then the other. The smaller one seems to have less stamina. Now we can defeat them individually. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they also have different enemy? weaknesses in this form. Oh, okay. Uh, let's vacuum slash. Let's go! It at least lets us check for weaknesses. Salt dive. Nice. That's uh, them trying to instant kill us. Nice. At least it didn't hit. What to do? Uh, let me just check here. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to check on Thunderbird. Uh, do I have a single target buff? <laughs> I should always make sure I have one single target buff so I can have a look and see what our uh, buffs are. Is there another way of doing that? Uh... Who's next? Yes, okay, so defense is wearing off this turn. Okay. Let's do that. It turns out there is actually a button to do what I was trying to do there, which is pressing down. Okay, uh, we could do a heal, but we don't what really need do? to. Uh, let's test wind while we're here. No um, thing should be a weakness, but we might be able to get some resistances out of them. You could also scan, I suppose. Uh, just thinking about it, scanning's probably worth it because it's only 35 SP. Let's just scan. Okay, resistant to all physical. Resistant to all um, magical. Okay, cool. I'll take care of this. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Turunda would do nothing against this guy because of their uh, instant kill stuff. Let's go Mazeo, maybe try and apply a uh, shock. Okay. Let's see. You're still going to use Vacuum Slash. Just looking for a crit. That's fine. We're tanky enough. That's, again, instant kill. Yeah, now we're out of humunculuses, which is unfortunate. I would prefer if they only activated on the main character, because now we're out of them, and if they instant kill the main character, we just lose the fight. Uh, I guess that means that we might want to sit on Loa, then, uh, because Loa would allow us to survive light once. Yeah. Although it is weak to light as well, so we would instantly be hit with it. Kind of a double-edged sword. Um, let's sit on lower for right now. And then try and inflict shock Whoa. on this guy. Okay, no shock. I have to do this. Uh, only one person is really hurt, so let's do a heal onto them. Cool. That was close. The Ball that up man. with... They're not really hurting us very much, so I guess we'll go with Mazio again. Okay. Uh, we can Oracle, but we should do that on a turn where we don't have any buffs. Let's uh, hack and blast and do it on this guy. Okay. 
And take that! Nice. Okay. They've now reunited. Now, does their health bar um, go back to full here? Let's have a look. With a stronger attack. Okay, uh, analyze. Let's see. I see. So resist everything. Makes sense because if the two halves resist, then that makes Let's that see. would pretty much do it. Uh, we still have defense up this turn. That's I'll fine. We probably it. want to just lower its um, attack this turn. Uh, let's switch to Floros and Herculean strike, maybe. Persona. Yeah, that pretty much did nothing. Uh, yeah. Hit a Theurgy attack. Maybe this is what it takes to uh, break break them apart here. They did say a stronger attack. Maybe this is it. Yes, okay, so you hit a Theurgy and then they split. That makes a lot of sense. Um, lightning spike seems like a good idea here. It's heavy and it hits both of the uh, opposing ones without caring about weaknesses, so that's fine. Follow that up with a vacuum slash. Okay. That's uh, a lot of damage, but it didn't end up being that much. Okay. Almost nothing. I'll take that. Uh, we could Theurgy, but there's no reason to Theurgy right now. We want to hold it. Uh, we're about to lose the defense buff, so let's do... We'll do Oracle after Yukari's turn, because then we will heal first. Then it means that we are not worried about uh, getting a healing out of our Oracle. Could Herculean strike back. It's definitely an idea. We could also just do fire. Let's do fire on this guy. Although I did, was thinking I should set on Loa, but let's not worry about that. Yeah, let's do a heal. Right. Then we Oracle, which will give us a full buff. Hopefully. Yes, for my friends. Nice, we are now completely buffed. And Mazeo. Okay. Uh, is there a better thing to use than Vacuum Slash? Not really if I want to hit both. Okay. Well. Keep going. Salt Dive. Not that much damage. That's just a normal light attack. That's not the instant kill. Lovely. Uh, here. Uh, could do Herculean Strike. Could go back to... Uh, doing Aguilal. Uh, yeah, let's do this again. I think that's fine. In this situation. Do a little heal. Pops everybody up. Hey, Thanks. Love to see it. The best bet would be. Follow that up with Mazio. Still basically looking for a shock. I don't even know if we can that's shock him, but you know. Timing. Just keep trying. Okay, they're going to reunite. We immediately are going to use our Theurgy to break them apart again. Wonderful. Are you kidding me? Excuse again? Uh, not Cadenza, Jack Brothers. There we go. That'll then break them apart, and then we're all good. Wonderful. So they split again. Yep, and they end up with the same percentage health here. Uh, I'm going to go for Cyclone Arrow here. This will be heavy damage on this guy. Well, technically severe damage, but let's not worry about it. Good. They're now weak. We're now going to use Lightning Spike, which will hit both of them for an extreme amount of damage. This one is actually heavy. And that kills both of them. Wonderful. Pretty straightforward for us there. I 
forget what split them apart in uh, FES. Because obviously it wasn't Theurgy that split them apart. Maybe it was uh, a certain amount of damage. Uh, like, maybe you'd hit a damage threshold. Uh, like, you had to do a certain amount of damage, then they split. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, cool. We are now level 36. Damn, New ability, Fire Break. Completely unnecessary for Junpei because um, we're not really using him for his fire attack. Okay, ooh, what's Blade of Fury? Weak slash damage to all foes. Two to four hits. Okay, so it's two to four times more powerful than Vacuum Slash for only 11 more HP. A new skill. Gonna have to try Elect out. Boost. Now, this is quite good on this guy because we do actually want to... Um, boost his electric skills, and Dia is not very good, so easy choice there. I let break on the other hand also not that useful, but that's just because break skills aren't that useful in general. Yes, I'm here. This is Mitsuru. We've neutralized the target. Ah, oh, good work. Come on back. Actually, there's been a complication. We ran into some interference during the mission. It seems they were Persona users. Persona users? Yes, more than one. They appeared during the dark hour and seemed to know who we were. Hmm. Did they say anything that might give us a hint to who they are? Now that you mention it, I believe they called themselves Strega. Straka? Hmm. All right. I'll see what I can find out. Thank you. There's one other thing I have to report. We unfortunately fell into Straka's trap, so we're locked inside the facility. Ah, I see. Since the threat has been eliminated, I'll send someone over as soon as I can. I'm sorry for the trouble. We'll be waiting. Other Persona users, hmm? Hmm. I assume also that means we're just basically stuck in there for the Dark Hour, and then when it becomes normal time again, he just sends over, like, some agent. <sighs> An unexpected enemy has merged. They seem to be Persona users as well. But we still succeeded in defeating the Shadows this month. There should be fewer victims for a while. I'm exhausted. I can't wait to get some rest. Okay. I'm interested to see what they do with Strega. I have heard that there's more content with Strega in uh, this version of the game. And I'm wondering whether we're entering into the point of the game where we're going to get the more content with Strega. Because um, now they've introduced them to us, we got a name... And there's nothing really to hide. I think there's maybe one more bit of information we need about Strega, and then we know everything that we need to know for more content. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, my crops are ready. Uh, let's see. Did you run 100 laps? No. There we go. Right. Head out here. Let's see what everyone has to say, and maybe go uh, get our crops. Hello. Everyone seems so exhausted. We don't have the whole group here anyway, so let's skip going to Tartarus tonight. Hey, so... So if the Dark Hour disappears, then our Personas will disappear too. That's basically what the Strega guys were saying, right? Well, yeah, that is what they were saying. However, there is a little bit of information, even in this game, which kind of disproves a little bit of that. Just in terms of, like, where people had Personas in the timeline. And then if you include the fact that some of these characters, well not these characters, but some of the characters in the school show up in P4. That implies that P4 is, or that P3 is canon to P4, which then implies that the things that are said in P4 therefore apply to P3, which means that you don't need the Dark Hour for Personas. But, let's not worry about that. Because then you could even extend it further and you could say, well, because there are P4 characters that show up as a cameo in P5, I think it shows up on posters and things, that then uh, means that you can say that P5 is therefore also 
backwards compatible cannon to P3, and then that's definitely not the case in P5. Anyway, that's if you do that. Basically, you just have to treat it as like a foggy cannon. Like, it's kinda true, unless something comes up which says that it isn't true. Anyway, hello. <sighs> Dude, our missions are always so exhausting. But last night was even worse because we ran into those Strager guys. Ah, they, and they look like a pretty annoying bunch. Man, I wish they'd just piss off. Alright. Hello. Hello there. There are four shadows remaining. Let us do our best next time, too. However, the members of Strega also appear to be our enemies. Let us remain vigilant and continue taking shadows down. Okay. Well, if there are only four remaining, it, it, it kind of feels like we're much further into the game than um, you would think at this point. But, anyway. Uh, we'll keep it going. Yeah, I, I kind of get the feeling that the the end of the game was quite long, but I don't know whether it's all it's going to be that long in this game. I'm not sure. We'll see. Right, should I plant something? Like a lot of the game's length originally was due to um, the fact that you had to spend so long in Tartarus grinding, and that just doesn't seem to be the case in this game. So unless the Monad stuff is going to add a lot to Tartarus in terms of length, I think that the game is going to end up being a lot shorter. Or at least feeling a lot shorter. I don't know. Right. Hello, Ken. He has no idea that anything has happened. He's just like, I'm just here eating my uh, potetch. Um, whatever that is. So I'm just assuming it's crisps or chips if you're American. I saw something on TV about people with apathy syndrome. Apparently, everyone was cured all at the same time. That's a little strange, isn't it? I mean, there's no way everyone can recover at the exact same time. Mm. So how? Oh, don't know. Last Tanabata. At the time, many people wrote wishes for them to recover. And as of today, the number of apathy syndrome victims has been decreasing. It looks like the wishes came true, however belatedly. Okay, people are going to start thinking it's an act from God. Like, after this many days they were cured. It's, yeah, it's, it's going to go crazy. Right, uh, let's leave, because there's nothing to do in here. And let's go see who wants to speak to us. Um, at the very least we have Bunkichi, right? Yes, so we should go and spend time with him, because that will be the final one on theirs. Good Naganaki. Oh, hello. I found that website, the one about revenge. I immediately thought about getting revenge on my boss, but I chickened out. I closed the tab right away, Now I'm not even sure if I had the right URL. Okay. Hello. I would like to pray. Yep, yep. Uh, I would like uh, another growth, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you later. Just getting us back up to the amount that we had before we went into uh, Tartarus. Uh, let's go to the strip mall. And then, hello. At Hagakuri, try ordering cold ramen by saying Cobra Men to the waiter. If he understands what you said, I heard you won't get heat stroke. Uh, okay. What kind of cat do you think this is? A stray cat. Aw, oh, you could tell, huh? It's a stray cat, but he's my friend. The first time I met him, he didn't even run away. He came out to my hand. So that means he's my soulmate, right? Probably means you smell like food. Yeah, the cat looks carefree. Okay. Well, in we go to Bookworms. Uh, this should be our final one with the elderly couple. Let's go. Bunkichi-san is sleep-talking. Looks like he's taking a nap. Uh, let's leave him be. Oh, uh, you're here. Uh, you you could have woken me up. 
Or did you just want to admire my pretty face sleeping like a baby? Ugh, upsy daisy. Well, we, we recently closed the book on a difficult matter, so I suppose the relief has put me at ease. Uh, it's the middle of the day, but I feel awfully sleepy. Uh, why are you relieved? Uh, while we're all here, I, I think it's time we told you. The truth is, we sent a letter to GeckoCon. We asked them to go ahead and cut the persimmon tree down. But why? Just the reaction I was hoping for. It was more than worth it to surprise you like that. Sorry for doing this without running it by you. When we went to visit the tree together, I met a school faculty member on my way back. He told me the administration is planning to put up a new school building where the tree currently is. It would be selfish of an old man like me to deprive those young people of new learning opportunities. Helping children reach their potential is more important than clinging on to old memories. I think our son would agree. He was a teacher after all. Hmm. Well, that's true. Yes, we had a long talk about it and this was the conclusion we came to. You really set an example for young people, being so considerate to old folks like us. We pray with our son in heaven that more kind souls like you will graduate from GeckoCon. Here, we'd like you to have this. It's the first fruit produced by the persimmon tree. A little rough around the edges, just like our son. My dear was the one who suggested we give it to you. Persimmon fruit. The, this must be something very meaningful to the both of them. Their deep gratitude reached my heart. Huh? I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Hierophant Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Hierophant within thyself. Rank up. We are now rank 10 in the Hierophant social link with the elderly couple. The Hierophant social link reached its maximum level. You can now fuse Koryu, the guardian of nature. Now, we have to cheer up and get on with our lives. We're too old to waste a single day. <laughs> if we kick the bucket while wasting our days away, I'm sure he'd laugh at us from heaven. It's hard on the parents to have such a well-respected son. Oh my, does it sound like I'm boasting? <laughs> the three of us chatted until sunset. I parted with the elderly couple and went back to the dorm. Well, hello everybody. Okay. Uh, I think that we don't have anything more of uh, you either, do we? Because we've had two with you. Hmm. Uh, yes. Okay, so nothing more with her. Um. So we'll leave her be. TV. Did it earlier. Next thing is, is there anyone on any other floor that wants to speak to us? I don't think so, but we'll do a double check just to check the bootcases. Yeah, so nobody there. Okay, cool. Let's head back down here then and see what we can do. Polonia Mall, I guess? He's not there because it would tell us actually if he was there because it would give us a little uh, mark on it. Yep, so uh, Friday is not going to be academic stay there. Uh, let's have a little look at the club. I don't think there's going to be anything going on. 
In fact, there's not even anyone to speak to. Wow, okay. Uh, seafood platter, I guess? Okay. That's fine. Let's head over here. And head up for the seafood platter. It should be on today, right? Uh, what can be done? Uh, Friday, full course. There we go. We will have the seafood full course. Wonderful. So we'll eat it again. And another couple points in academics. Ah, the dark hour. Ah. Hi, how are you doing? Hello again. I remembered a little more. The end won't be brought about by any one person in particular. It's going to happen because there are many who wish for it, almost as if it was decided from the beginning. But isn't it strange that there are those who would wish to bring about the end? Um, who cares? True. I guess that's not really something we need to worry about. Plus, I'm not even sure what the end really means yet. Well, enough of that for now. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you today. Soon, the flowers of poison will bloom. Three in the rival garden, and one in your own. I don't know if this has anything to do with the end, but you should be careful. Hmm. I don't grow flowers. Really? From where I'm standing, it seems like you're surrounded by colorful flowers. Yes, but the main character doesn't understand metaphors in my world, so he doesn't understand that these flowers could mean anything else. I'll let you know if I find out anything else. That's what friends are for, right? Pharos gave me a carefree smile. I sense a bond between Pharos and me. Rank up! We are now rank 5 in the death social link with the mysterious boy. Well then, good night. And he's gone. And it's Saturday. What does that mean? Not an awful lot. Ooh. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. Hello, Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. That's nice to know. We're not going to Tartarus for like another month. Oh. Okay. Thank you. It's now daytime. It's me. I'm sorry to disturb you, but do you have a moment? Could you speak a little bit louder and not in, uh, exclusively in my right ear? Uh, we'll say, coming. Good morning. There's actually something I need to tell everyone. But I think it would be best if you saw it for yourself. So I'd like for all of us to meet in the command room tonight. I'll see you then. Okay. Well, that was ominous. Uh, Maiko still considering whether she's going to run away from home. New requests! Greed is such a terrible sin. Alas, I cannot help but want now the number of requests I have for you has increased. I'd be incredibly pleased should you spare the time to fulfill them. Yeah, we still need to do the previous one from last month. New products, huh? Okay. Uh, we'll probably check that out, actually. Uh, let's head out here. Then head downstairs and uh, see if there's anybody about few people. TV. The Obon Festival coming up, the highways are expected to be jammed. Southbound traffic will be packed until the 15th, while northbound traffic will be congested from the 20th to the 21st. Hello. <sighs> Dude, our missions are always so exhausting. The last night was even worse because we ran into the Strega guys. Yeah, okay, we've already had a dialogue. Lucia couldn't detect those people. Strega, I think. They must be very powerful to be able to slip past her. Just who in the world are they? 
let me think. Now you have the sense that there's quite a bit going on behind the scenes, but the idea is simple enough. Their goal and ours have crossed. Uh, but the next time they get in our way, we'll take them down. That's all there is to it. Okay. Hello. Could it be? I didn't expect to meet Persona users outside of ourselves and those we've located and recruited. Not to mention ones filled with malice and hostility. As if we haven't been busy enough keeping the shadows at bay. Okay. Um... Let's head out. I was just thinking in my head, is there anything else to do? I want to check the calendar, I just want to know when the next uh, thing is. The next thing is the 5th, so we're probably going into Tartarus like... Uh, the 2nd or the 3rd, I would imagine. Something like that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, Polonia, yes, requests, of course. Let's go get our new requests. Uh, this one? Our kids are off on their summer vacation. I'm exhausted from making her meals every day. One of the women in my neighborhood said she pre-cooks massive amounts of udon. Then she rotates between sesame dressing, ponzu, and shredded daikon, so it always tastes differently. I figure we housewives need summer vacation too, so I decided to copy her method. Okay. I like to take walks around the station, and sometimes I see a peculiar looking girl. Now, don't freak out, but listen to this. She's got a sword stuck through her head. I don't know those young people like the piercings, but oh, through the entire head? Eh, you think it was some kind of trick? Well, if it was, it sure fooled me. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll keep an, uh, an eye out for anyone who's got a sword in their head. Um, oh, right, yeah, this is the Twilight Fragment dialogue. Okay. Requests. Here are my requests. Uh, I'd like to see proof of bond. Bring an item you can only receive when a social link has been maxed out. Oh Done. my! You've already fulfilled. So this is proof of one of your bonds. Though it's made out of ordinary material, I can sense some sort of warmth from it. Marvelous. You've nurtured a beautiful bond, a precious, irreplaceable bond. Please take this as your reward. Space badge. Okay. Create a persona that's level 38 or above. Done. Oh my! You've already fulfilled. Uh, we got Marionette. With the acquisition of Marionette, you can now fuse Nebrios, the necromancer from hell. Nebrios is usually around level 50-ish. Okay, cool. Uh, bring what you get after bartering items. I wish to become a straw millionaire. Bring what you get after bartering items. Bartering items. I'm just trying to figure this one out. The world you, you okay. must know. Have you ever heard the story about the straw millionaire? It is the story of a man who becomes wealthy after continuously bartering one item for another. Oh, now it makes sense. I would like to see if such a feat is possible in reality. I feel quite motivated. Thus, I have prepared this bandage wrap for you. Please use this bandage wrap as your first bargaining chip and trade it for something satisfactory. Okay, I think we can probably trade a bandage wrap with Hakihiko. I will await a report anyway, of success. Or maybe potentially Yukari. You'd like to try Aljiru. So we need to bring you true Alhige uh, uh, Aljiru. Well, I know where to get that. Come to think of it. Word has it, the ultimate drink in your world is something called Aljiru. However, the taste is described as super gross. How intriguing indeed. After all, if I'm to drink something, then I would like for it to taste good. Therein lies my request. Would you please look in for a delicious uh, Aljiru for me. I will await a report of okay. success. Okay, drink with my name. Bring a drink that shares a name with Elizabeth. Okay. A shame. I've come across a rumor I cannot dismiss. Apparently my name is being used somewhere without my knowledge or consent. According to the rumor, this beverage is only available in an unpopular spot. Please conduct a thorough investigation of this beverage as it concerns my reputation. I will await a report of success. Attempt a hundred shrine visits. Bring what you receive from praying at the shrine. You must know. Are you aware of a ritual called the hundred shrine visits that supposedly grants wishes? I would love to witness the miracle of the gods myself. However, I cannot abandon my duties here. Would you please visit the shrine on my behalf? As for my wish, 500 yen bills are extremely rare in your world, yes? I'd like to wish for one. I will await a report of okay. success. Okay. You'd like to try a home-cooked meal. I should have something, right? Oh, yes. 
allegedly something called a home to cook meal which possesses a special kind of flavour exists in your world. I'm curious what it tastes like. Yes, very much so. Uh, could you please bring me something with the favour with the flavour of this home cooked meal? It can be for food or beverage. I've no preference. Well then, I'll be looking forward to it. By all means. I should already have something. You want a Otenta Mitsuyu? Mitsuyu? By all means. Okay. Carry out the King and I uh, fusion spell. King and I is gonna be Oberon and Titania, I think. Of course. This request is meant to draw out more of your power, the power of the wild card. In order to achieve that, you will need to perform a special fusion, one that involves the um, King of all Jack Frost, King Frost, and his darling subordinates. Never mind, it's King Frost. <laughs> it is rather a daunting challenge, but I wait. Um, your report of success. Maybe it's King Frost and all of the small Jack Frosts, as like Jack Frost, Black Frost, uh, Jack O Lantern. Yeah, it's probably that. By all means. Fifth document. Okay. And then success. yes, the same ones we had previously. Okay. Uh, I can get you the drink. Very well. Oh wait, was that hand hand Good over the dip. cooking? There we I've go. been waiting for you. Hmm, it appears you have what I believe to be a home-cooked meal. What would you like to give me? Uh, you can have the tea. Oh my! Ah, so this is what home cooking tastes like. An elegant, rich flavour, one with a luxurious mouthfeel. I believe I now understand why people crave the taste of home cooking. You have my thanks. Thank you very much for sharing this culinary delight. Please take this as your reward. Legendary cleaver. All right, just. You know, normal Elizabeth you things. You speak to her and she gives you a sword. Bring a potato you've grown. Come I have a potato. By the way, I heard a rumour that a potato grown with painstaking love and care will develop a mysterious power. I believe you can obtain uh, the proper seeds to grow such potatoes from a shop that deals in plants. Would you please grow and nurture a potato to verify the authenticity of these claims? I will await a report. Alright, I mean, I have a potato for you. Oh, yes. Uh, here. What a truly bizarre potato. I can sense an unusual power radiating from it. <laughs> I imagine it make a rather appealing meal. Hmm? Why are you giving me such a strange look? In any case, the request is now completed. Please take this as your reward. An ergotite sh shard? Oh, all right. Yeah, Here a new request, request for me? No. All right. Oh, Very see ya. Well, then. Um, well, we got a new sword. Is that a sword for us? It is. A uh, critical rate up sword. I'm assuming that this is not so. I'm just having a look at his. No, his looks bigger. Okay. As in, if you look at it on the um, symbol here. Yeah, so it is a sword for us. Um, honestly, it's the same damage as a Nameless Katana. Nameless Katana's a, a stat up. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it. Uh, what's the space band? We generate three. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Uh, does it still say new? Doesn't. Okay, cool. Next one, head here is sale day after all. Uh, Thanks for coming. Hello. <sighs> oh, sorry, I don't have any for sale right now. I used to, but it didn't sell well. It was apparently only used for dares. As I said, I recently did come up with a new Aojiru creation that I consider my magnum opus. And maybe I'd be willing to exchange it for the vintage Yagen from the antique shop next door. Haha, <laughs> I'm joking, that thing's way out of a student's budget. Sorry, but you'll have to give up on the Iwojiru. Don't worry, I've got plenty of other fine goods. You'll like the new stuff we Life got in stock. Take a look around. A full res, yeah? huh? Done already? Yeah, I'm done. Thanks. You didn't have the you wouldn't sell me the thing that I wanted. Alright, I wanted to come here anyway to see what the shard was. Welcome. The Vintage Jagen, that's quite a rarity you've set your eyes on. Of course. Well, that's fine. Bring me the gems, and it's yours. Mind you, that's one of my more valuable wares, so it'll cost you more than you might be used to. <laughs> Just let me know when you're ready to swap for it. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? This base model is quite rare. I should be able to make a fairly interesting piece of equipment with this. Creating so that uh, must be this one. We have some new items prepared. Uh, base model Come for various fusion equipment. So, okay. what will it be? Uh... Do you bring a soul seal driblet or droplet, and then you can make one of these things. So a gale bow, blazing a great sword. So it changes affinity on these ones. The thing is, there's no reason. 
I don't like it's these ones that change affinity to the same ones recently, that their character already has. In particular. Like, what benefit do we get from giving her a wind attack affinity? They're basically nothing. Now, a fire attack affinity for a Junpei is t it's tempting because that then means that he has fire that scales off of strength, which is actually really good. However, the attack damage on the weapon is so low, it's just not worth it. Now, this one's also interesting. This one's more interesting. Changing the affinity to dark is actually huge, right? Because we don't get dark naturally on our um, uh, sidecar, on, on, on our party Wielding currently. Wielding a persona is powerful. Null ice, but it's not null fire. Risk. Please don't overexert yourself and get plus three plus counter. Uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, I assume counter won't stack. Uh, version zero armor. Or gear duration plus one. Interesting. And then the uh, ergotite legs. Slightly restores HP during battle. It gives you regenerate one. Huh. Okay. Cool. Uh, how much is this? Two topaz. Ah, well, I'm kind of missing that, huh? Yeah, I currently have zero topaz. Everything well, I guess we're just going to have to leave soon. that be, and hopefully we get it next time we uh, go to Tartarus. My friend knows a lot about that revenge website, like a little too much, you know? Makes me wonder if he's been using the site to take revenge. He keeps bringing it up, so I came out and said, isn't that just a stupid rumor? Hmm, okay. Good for you. Right, uh, let's go to the town map. I was gonna say, somewhere that's uh, unpopular, that's Port Island Station, the station outskirts, right? Hello. Damn it, that stinks pretty bad, just my freaking luck. Huh? The hell do you want? Can't you see I'm not really in the mood for talking right now? Wait, what you got there, bandages? Uh, perfect timing, can I have them? Uh, that's not what I thought this would be, but okay. Okay. Thanks, man. Whew. Well, that should work for now. Huh. Feeling like an punk like you doesn't sit right with me. You're a student, right? Guessing Gecko can if you're from around here. Here, I'm not thanking you or nothing, but you can take this. It pays it up at the station. It's not like it's worth anything to me anyways. Student handbook. Okay, so maybe we give that to somebody at the station who's missing a handbook? Hello? Oh man, this is bad. Where did I drop my student handbook? Hey, uh, do you need something? I'm a little busy here. Hey, wait, that handbook you're holding. And is, can I see that student handbook? I was just looking for mine. This might be it. It is mine. Phew, thanks. You saved me. Oh yeah, so thank you. Here, take this. Catnip. I got this for free when I was shopping at Aoichi uh, Pharmacy. But I don't own a cat. Anyway, if you have no use for it, just give it to one of the cats at the strip mall. Okay, we can give it to the person who's trying to get the stray cat. Take your time looking. Uh, what new stuff do you have? Oh, you have spinach, which will heal the soul. Wait, does that mean it's going to give us SP? Oh, give me a couple of those. And give me a couple of these as well, because I'm out. Okay. Uh, head out here. I can see the guy at the top. I'm just making sure we speak to everybody. You sure see a lot of couples during summer vacation, huh? I bet you get a girlfriend. It's a lot of trouble, though. Like, just now, I saw a couple having an argument, and the girl was like, I'm gonna report you to that revenge website. What's she even talking about? Hmm. He's a sweet guy, but he seems to be holding back. It's like he won't allow himself to enjoy life. Even after his friend and I offered to take him to the beach, he just keeps turning us down over and over. He'll never have fun that way. Don't get me wrong, I won't leave him beach. She's asked me to go to the beach? How did this happen? Am I really allowed to go? Hello. There's a bar by the gang spot with the best cocktails around, but they're looking into making non-alcoholic cocktails. It used to be a bar where adults could drink in peace, now it'll be swarming with kids. Hmm. Okay, it might still be worth checking that bar then. When you hear a cicada sound effect on a show or a movie, doesn't it remind you of summer? Did you know that they usually cut the cicada sounds out when exporting movies or TV to other countries. In places with no cicada, when they hear that sound, they think it's just static or white noise. Okay, that's kind of interesting. During summer vacation, this place is so quiet, since there aren't any students rushing onto the train. I like the quiet. Okay. 
Also, some very, very brightly colored people there. Um, I believe if we can get a mop, we can do something there. Um, but I have no idea. I have no concept of where we will acquire one of those. Yeah, is it this bar? Whoa, not bad. I bet this will be popular. Yep. Sorry, we're not open yet. Hey, aren't you still in high school? You're not supposed to be here. The bartender keeps staring at me. I wonder if it's because of my charm. Hmm, you look like you've been around the block a time or two. Well, I guess it can't hurt. Can you try this new cocktail I whipped up? Oh, don't worry. There's no alcohol in it. It's my own little concoction for customers who can't drink alcohol. I want to expand our clientele, you see? Cheers. I guess I'll try the non-alcoholic cocktail. It's a perfect balance of sweet and sour. It has a refreshing flavor. So what do you think? Good, huh? It's all right. Hmm, maybe it's not for kids. Oh well. Tell you what, I'll give you a bottle of it on the house. Um, I'm gonna go catch some Z's. Come back when you're legal and I'll let you try the good stuff. Okay, I gained the Queen Elizabeth. Okay. We can now leave and we can go... Well, let's go to the strip mall first. Hello? I tried putting on cat ears, but the cat still won't even look at me. Maybe I've had a cat toy, but I don't think I have enough to buy one. Who's that cat toy? Do you have a pet cat? Uh, nope, you can have this. I can? Thanks. Well, I should give you something in exchange. Oh, I know. You can have this cat ear headband. I don't need it anymore. Here you go. Maybe Elizabeth would like this headband. I'll try showing it to her. Oh, I was thinking we'll go trade it in at the uh, net cafe, but I guess not. Order ice cream at the sweet shop and eat it without stopping, even if you get brain freeze. If you do that three times in a row, you'll get stomachache. I mean, duh. Alright. Thanks for the tip. Hello. I saw my teacher at the mall. He seemed really tired. I tried talking to him, but he just smiled. He's so boring. He's exactly the same out of class as in it. Okay. He's probably like, will this child leave me alone? I'm off work. But, uh, anyway. Let's head all the way back here and trade in the requests. Hello. Good day. Um, Are you accepting first a request? up, uh, let's do the straw Wonderful. millionaire. Oh my. oh my, what is this delightful item? I cannot resist the urge to put it on. Well, here goes nothing. Meow. That is amazing. <laughs> I see, wearing this will transform you into a cat in the blink of an eye. You have my thanks. Thank you for this lovely gift. Now I too can be a straw millionaire. Oh, she took it off. 20 turquoise? Could you not give me some topaz? Wonderful. Anyway. Um, my apologies. I see, so this is the beverage that bears my name. It does indeed say Elizabeth on the label, and there is a very lovely, rich, ver there is a very lovely, very rich aroma. If I'm to be honest, it does make me feel a little prideful. I'll take some time to enjoy it later. Okay. We got as generic material. Okay. Uh, topaz needed. What do you receive for praying at the shrine? I guess we could do that. Um, that one's Tartarus. That's Tartarus. Tartarus, Tartarus, not Tartarus. I assume that will also trigger another quest by doing it, so we should make sure to try and do it at some point. Right, what's available to do right now? Uh, Maiko. Uh, okay. We're gonna go to the shrine and we're gonna pray at the shrine. I think this is it. Let's do a save before we do that. Right. Uh, and then... Is it monetary offering or is it fortune? Must be monetary offering, right? Ah, must be asked me to find a 500 yen bill by visiting the shrine 100 times. Maybe I should pray before I go. So far, there's no sign of my prayer being answered. I'll try again later. Hopefully, I don't have to actually visit the shrine a hundred times. <laughs> Can I just visit it again immediately? Oh, leaving money as an offering will raise your academics. The amount you choose to donate may yield different results. Those who approach with generosity and will be rewarded in kind. Time will pass if you make an offering. No, but also interesting. Have I clicked on this yet? Imagine someone you are tied to via social link and your relationship will deepen. If your bond has been damaged, it may be repaired. Time will pass as you reach your fortune. Depending on your luck, your fortune may have an effect on your wallet for better or worse. Don't draw. But okay, interesting. <laughs> uh, we just hadn't got the uh, tutorials. Okay, well I'm gonna stop us next to her. Do we actually have a persona for hers? 
Uh, she's Hanged Man, right? Uh, let me have a little look at her social link. It's a really one child. Yeah, she's Hanged. So we have Hanged with us, so... Yeah, let's do a save here. And then, next time, we'll start off with a little bit of the Hanged Man social link. Where after about a month and a half, she may have run away from home. Anyway, or maybe she'd run away from home and she's just been living at the park for a month and a half. Either way, it's not great. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.